Hello, brothers and sisters in Christ, you too. This is Barry Killer 77 Mitch. I just want to make a short video. It's it's been a while since I've um, made any kind of videos lately, and um, I just wanted to say hi, everyone out there, and let you know that you know everything's doing all right, going all right. Um, I. Um, I may have to retake this class. I'm not going to say which one because I, I don't know who's watching this, but um, cause you can find me online. I just drinking some coffee. So if you want to drink it, I'm not, no, I don't, I don't drink. It's just coffee, see. Um, no, you can't say that, but it's coffee. I like coffee. Okay, so there's this. J.C. Ryle quote I wanted to share with you guys. And this is something I've been meditating on the past day or two, guys. I hope this is an encouragement. It says, Think you who take comfort in some fancied ideas of your own goodness. Think you who wrap up yourselves in the notion, All must be right if I keep to my church. Think for a moment, what a sandy foundation you're building upon you or you're building upon think how miserable defective your hopes and please will look in the hour of death and in the day of judgment whatever people may say of their own goodness while they are strong and healthy they'll find but little to save it while they are sick and dying whatever merit they may see in their own works here in this world they'll discover none in them when they stand before the tribunal of Christ the light of that great day of judgment will make a wonderful difference in the appearance of their doings. It will strip off the tinsel shrivel of the complex and expose the rottenness of many a deed that is now called good. Their wheat will prove nothing but chafe. Their gold will be found nothing but dross. Millions of so-called good work will turn out to be of utterly defective and graceless. They have passed current here in the world and were valued among people. They prove light and worthless in the balance of God. They'll be found to they have been found to have been like the whitened sepulchres of old, fair and beautiful on the outside, but full of corruption on the inside. Alas for the person who can look forward to the J of judgment and lean their soul on the smallest to grant anything of his own now. It's from J C Ryle. You see, my brother and sisters in Christ, we cannot be saved our own good works. We cannot be saved our own good merits, or good wars, or good achievements, or good things. And, um, you know, so many people, so many people, I, should, I still see it going on, but so many people are trusting their own good merits and their own good works. And it's on YouTube. There's a lot of you know, I see people um, boasting about these the good things they're doing. Sorry about this. That's just the sunlight coming through. So let me. Um, I apologize about the sunlight. It's just uh, really bright today. So let's see if I can get that fixed. It's coming through my window. I apologize. I. I can't do much about that. Um, let's see here if I can make this any better. There's some difficulties up to these. Um, as you can see, it's really, really bright. I can't. I can't do much about that, unfortunately. Um, sorry, guys. Um, I can't get it much better than what it is right now. So, any AI. I, I, like I was saying, you know, there's many who trust in their own good merits and works, and, you know, I'll be getting this award, honors award, excuse me, can't talk, and, you know, it's, I think it's a good thing, it's a good thing that, um, you know, praise God that, um, excuse me, that, uh, I'm getting this award, but, you know, I can get ten awards, and I could, I could, um, uh, I could get ten awards and I could you know do all this community service and I could 
still not be saved. You see, my brother and sister in Christ, it's not good merits or good works that can save you. It's only through the death, resurrection of Jesus Christ. And I know that some of you know that, and you you may have a head knowledge, my friend. My friend, head knowledge will not save you. It will not. In fact, there's a scripture that says, those of you who know the truth are, we're held to a, a higher degree of accountability. A higher degree of accountability. That means that, you know, whatever, say, how many, to the level of truth, it's what, is what, um, is how much accountable we are going to be to God. So those of us who know the truth and have a Bible and so forth, we're going to be held to that higher degree of truth. Um, so you guys, just keep me in your prayers. I, I really need them. Um, academically, this has been a tough semester. I, like I said, I might not pass this class, which is um, unfortunate, but, you know, I'm, I'm keeping it, instead of being bogged down by it, I'm gonna, it's gonna be a, a learning experience for me that, you know, I'm just a person, a human being, and I've learned many things out of this as well, it's not, it's not, all failure's not necessarily bad, you know, God can use failure to, um, guide us in the way that he wants us to like Jonah you know if Jonah had you know had a failure and get caught up in the whale then who knows what would have happened um I've also um I haven't been on Facebook much either so you know guys I whoever has me on Facebook I'm not going to name any names but you have me on there and you and you don't see me for a while with finals online or might not be online in general the next week um don't be too surprised just keep me in your prayers and uh you know i um i feel like there's a lot of time wasted i've on um, my own watch my own prime time to you know read the word God's word and, and understand it and and listen to God and you know we we're in a day and age where there's so few time of um, there's so few time where we don't know when we're gonna die it, it could be uh, you know any moment um my lighting is, is gone a little dark again, so I apologize again. Um, there we go. Okay. So, um, I know I need to shave <laughs> before tonight. You can see I'm getting a little facial here. Here, as you can tell, uh, it seems to me I'm, it just grows really fast on me, and, um, you know, guys, um, I, I just want to encourage you to keep spending time in the Word of God. Keep praying. Keep seeking the Lord. I believe our time is short on this earth. It's very short. In fact, you know, to me, it, it seems like my life so far, it's just been a, it seems like a, as if a moment has just gone by and, you know, I don't know how long I'm going to have to live, and you don't know how long you're going to live, and, and, um, and we don't know when we're going to die, guys. We're going to count for every word we say, and every deed spoken, and other things we do in front of other men, and that includes Facebook, so, you know, people ask me, why do you post so much things about God on Facebook, and this has not been asked too much, but, and my answer is that it says in the word of God that we're going to give an account. We're going to give an account to God for everything you've done. Everything you've done, my friend. If you've been, if you have ungodly things on your Facebook, my friend, please pray about it. 
you see. Because you're going to have to give God an account one day of what you posted on that Facebook. And if you, those of you who have, you know, ungodly pictures, I, I highly encourage you to just seek the Lord in prayer about that because, you know, the Lord is not, you know, given us the privilege to use those things as, as a something ungodly. Okay, that is just supposed to be a short and current video, so it's going a little longer than expected, so I hope you were encouraged by that J.C. Wild quote. Um, there is another one I, I wanted to read here really quick. Um, it's about blessings in our life, spiritual blessings, and then here's the sun coming through again, so I apologize. Okay, morning. April 27th, morning morning by Charles Spurgeon. It is strange how little we use in the spiritual blessings which God gives us, but it is stranger still how little use we make of God himself. Though he is our own God, we apply our souls but little to him, and ask but little of him. How seldom do we ask counsel at the hands of the Lord? How often do we go about our own business without seeking his guidance? In our troubles, how constantly do we strive to bear our own burdens ourselves instead of casting them upon the Lord that may sustain us? This is not because we may not, for the Lord seems to say, I am thine soul. Come and make use of me as thou wilt. Thou mayest freely come to my store and oftener than the more welcome. It is our own fault if we not make free with the riches of our God. Since then how such a friend he invites thee draw from him daily. Never want whilst thou hast a God to go to. Never fear or faint while thou hast God to help thee. Go to thy treasure and take Whatever thou needest there is all thou canst want. Learn from the divine skill of making God all things to thee. He supplieth thee with all and better still. He can be to thee instead of all. Let me urge thee then to make use of thy God. Make use of him in prayer. Go to him often because he is thy God. Oh, wilt that fail to use such great a privilege? Fly to him. Tell him all thy wants. Use him constantly by faith at all times. If some dark privilege providence has beclouded thee, use thy God as a son. If some strong enemy has beset thee, find in Jehovah a shield, for he is a son and shield to his people. If thou hast lost thy way in the mazes of life, use him as a guide, for he will direct thee, whatever thou art and whatever thou art, wherever thou art. Remember, God is just what thou wantest, and what just well thou wantest, excuse me, the old English, <laughs> and that he can do all thou wantest. It's from Charles Haddon Spurgeon. Well, I hope you're encouraged by that. And God bless you, keep you, and more bless you. Amen.